Hey beautiful people, welcome back to our platform and thank you so much for joining today. So guys, if you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and support the movement. So in this video, I'm going to talk about study visa application to Romania, the documents you need and some other details you need to know. Now, for my fellow Africans, my Ghanaians, my Cameroonians, Nigerians and other African countries, Kenyan, Moroccans, Ugandans who are complaining to me that study abroad is quite expensive. There is a video I did about studies in Romania, moving to Romania, and I said, do not compare with people who are going to Canada and America. I equally said, do not compare with people who are doing their blocked account to maybe Norway, also Germany. I equally said that. There are other countries like Denmark, which are equally good, but the money is too much. Now, for example, if you get admission in Denmark, you have to pay 5 million CFA francs before you can apply for the visa. But now, if you get admission to Romania, you can maybe pay just maybe 1,005, 2,000 euros. Then the remaining 3,000 euros, you can now use it to apply for your visa, which is almost that 5,000 euros you paid to another country. So because many people have been saying that they do not have this money to apply to bigger countries, that is why I'm making my effort to bring out this content. So Romania right now, I am looking at some countries, I've looked at Slovakia and some other countries like Lithuania, but Slovakia and Lithuania looks a bit tedious because for Slovakia you have to go to Kenya, then for Lithuania as a Cameroonian you have to go to Dubai, and as a Nigerian it will be difficult for you because Nigerians don't go to Dubai, I don't know if it has changed for now. That is why I decided to bring something that is will be easy. Nigerians can apply from Nigeria for Romania and Cameroonians and other nationalities can equally apply from Nigeria. So please, I will advise you if you do not have money and if you are still looking at schools that are open, try to apply to Romanian universities. There are some few universities I mentioned in the other video. I'm still going to talk about them. Universities like the University of Brasov, that's Technical University of Lassie, then uh, Transylvania University of Brasov. Then you also have West University of Timi Suara. Then there is also Bucharest University and the famous Babes Boliau University in Cluj, Napoca. So these are some few schools you can consider and I will encourage you to take a look at them right now because admissions usually start especially at Babes Bolias University from April to August okay but remember while you are doing the application you have to be fast because First, your documents need to go through the Ministry of Education in Romania. Then after that, you have to book an appointment and apply for visa. It is not going to be easy. So there is time. There is a lot of people want to move. So you are not the only one. So I will advise you to do it now. Now, for you to apply, because we are talking about visa applications and the document you need for visa application. Do you just go and you apply for visa? No you need to get admissions first what are the documents you need for admissions i will talk about those that are going for babes bolio university in Cluj napoca the documents you need are one your educational credentials two there is also an application form you have to fill three you also need to attach tuition fee payment receipt and remember the tuition fee is 50 euros for the other schools i do not know I'm talking about a school that is still accepting applications as I speak to you. Now, after you've paid the application fee, then your documents, remember your documents, your educational credentials. If you are going for bachelor's, your WIEC, okay, then your WIEC, your birth certificate must be there. Your testimonial must be there. Your, you also need all these documents, you have to legalize them. For Nigerians, you already know the procedure you are going to use for legalization. If you don't know, watch the other videos about Romania on this channel. Then for Cameroonians, you already know. If you do not know, watch the other videos. If you need an appointment, book from the video description box. If you have a question, drop a question, a comment below in the comment section so I can go through it when I am free. Then among the documents you need for application at Babes Bolio, 
is a copy of your international passport the passport data page i mean you also need to add uh, your passport photograph then there is also what we call um i talked about the application fee you also need to attach the t the application fee receipt then there is also another document i'm forgetting i talked about birth certificate then you also need to add uh, i think medical certificate that's the document i was forgetting right please check the website again these are the documents you need for admissions now the process is when you apply you create the account you do everything you pay the application fee you upload all the documents the school is going to check the documents if you have a problem with your documents they will get back to you between five to ten working days then they will tell you the documents to fix then remember you are attaching the document as one pdf file and after you've done that everything you can resubmit it again remember the application portal does not open on holidays and some particular days like saturdays and sunday you are going to see all those details on the website now when you send the documents and they are okay the school will inform you that they have sent the documents to the ministry of education in romania then it is going to take another 40 uh, maybe 30 40 to 60 days for the ministry to get back to you with an admissions letter and after the offer letter you have 15 days maximum to pay a tuition fee then after you pay the tuition fee you can now begin the visa application now for the visa application remember if you do not pay this tuition within the 15 days given to you your position may be given to somebody else or you may be denied the offer after you've gotten it right so you need to put all these things into consideration it's so important now after you've gotten uh, the admissions and paid your tuition you now need to do what you need now to apply for the visa and for the visa i want to tell you that romanian visa is not difficult because of proof of funds and the documentation involved but many people do not know however i'm going to give you some documents that you need to apply for the visa and uh, the first document i want to talk about is your international passport and remember you also still need your educational credentials here and they equally need to be legalized the procedure is already on this channel so please make sure you watch the entire procedure on how to go about this then you need a copy of your international passport as well then the letter of admissions from the romanian ministry of education is also an important document now when it comes to this passport you have to be careful with the passport don't go and use a passport that is left just one year please because you are going to be given a visa when you go in you will not get a residence permit the, you the worst thing for you to get is to go into a country then you start looking of where to renew your international passport especially if you are new if you are not careful you may lose uh, like lose a lot of money so that shouldn't be what you should do then the tuition fee receipts you paid before you need to attach the receipt to these documents for the visa application cameroonians remember you do not have uh, we do not have because i am from cameroon there is no romanian embassy in cameroon therefore you have to go to nigeria or senegal and uh, all the details you are going to find them on the embassy's website remember also for the documents for visa application you also need what is called the proof of funds now for cameroonians after paying your first tuition for one year you have to pay completely you can also pay the next semesters when you are already in romania in installments but after paying the first one because the receipt is uh, a gateway for you to get the visa after you pay this one you can now apply for the visa for the proof of funds you need around 2.6 to 2.7 million or more as a cameroonian in your bank account or probably around three thousand four thousand euros and above in your bank account for nigerians you can now convert to your own local currency but understand that sometimes three million four million depending on your tuition fee i already talked about the tuition fee some schools that you should expect most schools in romania charge from two thousand euros and more but in, in case you do not pay all the tuition make sure you add the balance to your proof of funds but i will recommend you have a lot of money because you remember you need to pay for the other years and equally you need to feed i already have a video about living costs transportation rents jobs and electricity bills and all those bills and accommodation so you should check that now for the criminal record you also need a document like that but it also needs to be uh, authenticated and legalized it has to come from the police station so go to the police station and ask them now another important thing you need to put into consideration is your insurance 
if you are going to be studying for a three years program you need to get an insurance for the number of years you are going to study three years programs last for that's bachelors three years programs are bachelors then two years programs are like masters then five years or even more are phd programs right so your insurance must be for the number of years you are moving if you are moving for a three years bachelor's program buy an insurance that covers the three years program now if you check very well you are going to notice that the insurance companies they charge uh, about uh, 30,000 euros, that's the standard, but sometimes the insurance company cannot give you such and you cannot pay 30,000 euros. So they calculate per day, you are going to buy a premium version. Um, I think Alliance Insurance is a good example. You can ask them if they do Schengen insurance for study purposes, then you do, they let them do the insurance. But remember, 49 euros is the money you need per day for insurance per month for insurance so if 49 euros is per month if you are going for three months three years program it means you have to multiply 49 times 12 times three right for three years program then do same for times 12 times two for two years program to get the amount you are going to pay for insurance okay things might change tomorrow after you watch this video so always do your own due diligence to understand the procedure properly now then um you also need a legal letter a letter from your guidance or they call it consent letter to prove that let your guidance sign that okay they are going to be in charge of you as you move to study in romania sometimes it may only be for students who are under age maybe like less than 18 years but just get this document from a guardian if you don't have a guardian i believe you should have somebody you look up to right excellent then you also need accommodation a part of accommodation there is a visa fee you need to pay which is 120 euros now remember there are various visas when you go to that website you're going to see airport transit visa uh study visa short stay visa which are schengen visas you may also have some other type of visas like uh, maybe which has not long stay visas as well but the one you're applying for a student as a student is a long stay visa among these documents is um a copy of your medical document insurance i mean uh, medical certificate i mean not insurance medical certificate and it's going to come from a state hospital they are going to analyze you and give you a certificate maybe probably everything will be done on you but you are going to get the certificate just go to a state hospital and tell them you need that document it will be given to you then at, of course the application form for visa for visa has to be gotten from the embassy so this is basically how you are the documents you need to apply for school and the documents you need for visa application to migrate to romania you have to understand some people are saying that the process uh as i saw a comment on this channel someone said the process is difficult and it's getting difficult nothing is easy again guys i must tell you the truth nothing is easy so please put so many of these things into consideration before you carry on so if you really want to succeed i hope this is going to help you till we meet again in another one this is the end of the video if you need a one-on-one -on -one with me you know where to do it book from here and also my social media handles are down there you can follow my pages and also let's interact till we meet again in another another one